This program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Buzz! Hey, what's going on? This is Mr. Mo. And I'm Darren Jones. And, um... So, it's a known fact that this is the last season of Buzz. Very sad. And also sad is we're going to have to start looking for jobs okay. in the real world after this is all over. We're outside a nightclub in Toronto on a Thursday, and we thought, why don't we go there? Let's try to be a bouncer or something like that. Try to get a job at the club. Are you serious? Yeah. Here let's, is the, uh, yeah, let's do it. Be good. Fuck. We were wondering how difficult it is to be a security guard at a nightclub. Well, for most people, not that much. But for you, it's going to be quite difficult. Right? Well, I'm good, though. Yeah, you're good. Suggesting I'm not big enough? Well, no, I just see more meat on a cheese sandwich, but that's... Alright, to be fair, I haven't taken the steroids. No, 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 Not working. I do have the... I do have a tiny penis. That part is working. Do you think, just for the night, we could pop, uh, perhaps work here? For you, I got a nice ladies' washroom that needs guarding. No, you know what? That's all yours, right there. Sounds like a good job. With the puking, that means a drunk. That's true. Do we have a uniform we can wear? Or anything? Guys, we have this uh, official Mink nightclub security thing. You're officially part of our team. Have a good safe shift, guys. Crackhead! It's there with Jones and Mr. Mo, 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 Mo. We got this kick ass wicked show, 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 show. We grab the mic and walk the street. Make fun of people that we meet. This show's so good. I got a bone. That's why you're watching Buzz this week. Coming up this week on the Buzz. Darren and Mo do security. Country Mo D needs a blow. Tom Arnold gets buzzed in Montreal. Plus Fluffy in Regina and Chipotle in Winnipeg. This week on the Buzz. This show's so good. Still got a boner. That's why you're watching Buzz. I just came. What's that one? This is our uh, VIP line and our hot lady line, so we want to get those people inside. You know what? Since you guys are official doormen, go yeah. ahead and let them in. All right. Does that want to do it in? Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see you. We go for about an hour to two hours, and if they're dedicated enough to finally enter the Mink Nightclub, then they get in after about a two-hour wait. It's even better when it rains. You guys are never getting in with us. You know that, right? Now, you're a bouncer also? No, I'm security personnel. Ah, so what's your job? I look at you and make sure you do a good job tonight and see that you're new staff. Are you my boss? Are you guys on the, uh... Hey, <laughs> what's up? So what, you want my bypass or you want to have to cover tonight? Uh, both. Eat for free. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Lap dances, the whole deal. Whatever you guys do. No lap dances. Oh, no lap, right. Oh, Different course. Do they have to be patted down? Yes. Yeah. No, we don't, sure? We, we don't know. <laughs> I don't mind working. And the fourth, uh, <laughs> are you start hitting the gym? What are you talking about? Oh, you need to hit the meat gym, on a cheese sandwich. Uh, that's a line in this place. Somebody else already said that. What if I showed up at the door? What would you do? Which line would I be in? You'd have to go the regular line. I'd be in the loser line, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I thought. Are you on the list, ladies? Oh, they're on the list. Yeah, they're, um, on yeah, they're hooked they're up. They're on some sort of list, that's right. Do you work at Hooters? Oh. <laughs> no, but I so love your show. Oh well, my thank god, you, you guys oh. rock! Wow. Yeah, VIP all night. <laughs> uh, hour. When's your birthday, man? Thank you. 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 The most important newscast in the world. Welcome to Buzz News. I'm Mo Smith. And I'm Darren Jones. And now the news. In Great Britain, a drugstore employee was rushed to the hospital because he had a toothbrush shoved up his rectum. Now that it's removed, the same toothbrush is only half price. A new study shows that 52% of Americans have below average intelligence and the other 48% are Democrats. In Pittsburgh, a mystery attacker with a foot fetish stopped a woman on the street to sniff her shoe and to lick her feet. Whatever happened to the good old days when they just mug you? Exciting news, scientists say they have discovered methane on Mars. They say they plan to send up a gigantic robotic air freshener as soon as possible. In Washington, scientists have developed an anti-AIDS gel so that women can apply before sex. Right now, the results are so promising, they're working on a hairspray. Who knew? So until next time, I'm Darren Jones. And I'm Mo Smith. So I'm done. Catch you later. Where are you going? That's it? I'm out.
Just you and me, I guess. You know how it goes, people. Fluffy here. But I'm here to watch the game, but I ain't here to watch the game. I'm here to drop some game. What's that, baby? Do I feel all soft and furry? Yeah, that's how sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just say I'm a bit of a rough rider myself. Because <laughs> Fluffy got it going like that, you know what I'm saying? What's happening, girl? With your fish eyes and shit. She got built-in binoculars in them fucking glasses. Them glasses is thick as shit. Who's happening, baby? Good to see you. Ludacris, everybody at the CFL game. They say big stars don't come down to see the CFL, but Ludacris is here. Look behind you. We got a nice cutie. You got to sit down in green. There we go, covering her face. That's what I like. As you know, my shit be spraying. <laughs> Ladies, are we single? Oh, yes. You're both single? Yeah. All right. Well, Fluffy, my turn to do that to all in vagina. All right. How you doing, little girl? What's happening? All right, this ain't R. Kelly up in here. We don't want any action. All right, y'all say that uh, she moved over to me. I didn't do this. All right. What's happening, mama? You better get out of that relationship. There's numbers you can call. Don't let them put you like that. A lot of people don't know I was in Regina a little while ago, too, but... I ain't gonna say no names. What's happening? Good to see you, little girl. You poke him in his bum. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now that, my friends, is what you call old motherfucker. Step. 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 Whoa, whoa! Yeah! I got it. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That was motherfucking close. Coming up next on the bus. I've been hooked on getting head like nicotine. I've been hooked ever since I was in my teens. Release them all loads like Bill and Bean. Cause I need the flow. Never come between a man and his oral sex. Country Modi's up next. <laughs> This program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Buzz! I'm in Montreal here with Tom Arnold. Uh, welcome to the city. It's good to be here, buddy. It's a great city. A lot of interesting people, a lot of weirdos, a lot of freaks, a lot of adorable people. It's great. You're here. Uh, what category would I uh, be put in? Uh, all three. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, that's, that's a compliment. This is the first time I've done it. Uh, 
without a wife. So it's uh, how is that changing me? It's a lot. There's a lot more food for me, nope. you know, uh, which is nice in the green room. Uh, but no, it's fun. So when you're in Montreal, what are you going to do? Well, I am really focusing on this event myself. I am not going to go out and smoke cigars and, and go to the clubs and then watch people dance. I guarantee I'm not doing that. So you'll be hitting the fitness establishment in the gonna city? I'm going to work out. And no booze, obviously. No booze, no nothing. It's, it's not about having fun. Hi, ladies! What's going on, girls? Remember last night? No, just kidding. Yeah, it's not about having fun. Just kidding. They obviously did because they're not looking at you. Uh, well, I ran out of twenties, but I uh, no, it's uh, it's great. Twenties, you are American. Wow, exactly. <laughs> amazing. I know. I know. Living these, my man. Come on. What is that? Is that the, like a dollar? Yeah, that's a dollar. You cheap bastard. Yeah. No, 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 no. We flip of the the fun part is is securing them into the whatever situation. Anyway. So people, a word describing you quite often you hear in the press, classy. And I heard you may get lynched. Is that true? I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, because Have you uh, ever been run out of a city? Oh, many times. That's many times. Right. Many times. My hometown and then just progressively city. city after city. And then so I'll be run out of here. And uh, But I'll be I'll sneak back in. His body's a temple. Tom Arnold, everyone. It is. But I've added some seats to the choir. <laughs> No Caucasian is really white, and no brother is really black. If you look up the definition for the word white, it says purity, innocence, free of guilt. But if you read the history of the early settlers, they're far from it. Just ask the natives. The word black signifies evil and filth. I'm none of those things. The truth is, brothers aren't even black. No Caucasian is white. I've never met a white person in my life. The only white person I have ever saw was Casper. When I think of white, I don't think of good purity and innocence. I think of clean white hooded sheets. Asians complain that they don't want to be called yellow because it's offensive. Well, brothers should be offended for being called black because it's always been associated with bad luck. Black Monday, black cat, black magic, black ski mask. According to superstition, a black cat is bad luck. Yellow has never been associated with evil. You never hear people say it's bad luck when they see Big Bird. This is the man, Mr. Mo, and you heard me. You heard me, heard me. Now back to Buzz Young Security. Now, what are the dress codes here? Um, no athletic wear, no, no running shoes. How about gang colors? No. Looking in your direction? Hey, whatever. <laughs> what year were you born in? When? 83. Wow. That's a good fake ID. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Your guns at the door. 77? 77. 77. <laughs> what do you do if a guy gets overly aggressive? This, you know what I mean? It helps, but it doesn't solve, it doesn't solve the problem, right? Hmm. It's like a giant smoked ham. He just hit into his own hand. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sir, we're not going to let you in tonight. Your shirt's not tight enough. Not tight enough. It's got to be too tight. What if I showed up in a pair of sweatpants and no shirt? I tell you to put your shirt on a hit of gym. There, you look like a pear. <laughs> pear shapes? I'm like pencil shapes. <laughs> I've seen more meat on a meat sandwich. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, this is going to end poorly for me. Alright, guys, you That's not bad. felt like prison, huh? Wow. Whew. I'm not sure, but I think I was just right. Let me guess, 82? <laughs> Enjoy yourself. No, oh, oh, I yeah, see. Okay. That's code for I got a joint in the car. <laughs> now is the black arm man for fallen comrades, fallen security guard comrades. Has a security no, guard ever no. been tanned Bridge to death? <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> Would you say the camera, Mo and Darren are creating a bit of a buzz in the area? Yeah, so why don't you think your favorite buzz up? Uh, uh, making me look like a cheese sandwich with some meat. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next on the buzz! You want to get married? Uh, possibly. How about marry me, Shabubula? <laughs> no, thank you. No, Shabubula trying to stay in this country. Shabubula resorts to begging for a wife. Coming up next. This program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised.
What's going on, guys? I'm Darren Jones, and I'm in Winnipeg, and on the phone, Shabubla, how are you? Hello, Darren Jones. How are you doing? Let's find you a wife. Are you currently married? No. Or are you dating anyone? Yes. Ah, how serious is it? Uh, quite serious. How long have you been dating this person? About two years. Oh, so Shabubla, this uh, woman, Lindsay, has been dating someone for two years. Hello, Lindsay. I hear you are going out with someone for two years. I am. Yes. Two years. Do you want to get married? Uh, possibly. How about marry me, Shabubla? <laughs> no, thank you. No, Shabubla trying to stay in this country. Oh, really? And Lindsay can help me out. Oh, yeah. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll give you another year, and if you're not into him, you look up, look up Shabubla. No problem. Thank you, Lindsay. No problem. People can't handle Shabubla. Pardon me? Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were gone. <laughs> thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. Have you ever dated a man with an accent? Yes. Oh, but as sexy as this? No, not quite. Yes, Shabubula is sexy. Sorry, Shabubula. I might have to go with Fred. With Fred? Yes. Beach prison? I prefer prison. You know what, though, Shabubula, uh, if you go to prison, that's not avoiding gay sex. Bring me on more women. Are you dating anyone? Not really. Are you into black guys? Shabubula, we have a depends here for uh, for black guys. Oh, okay. Hello, Shabubula. Now, Shabubula is looking for a wife. Really? Yes. Are you married? No. No. Perfect. <laughs> now, let me ask you a few questions. Sure. Do you like to cook? I am a cook. Oh, yes. Do you ever cook alligator? Um, no, but I probably could. That's good. Now, how wide is your hip? 38. 38? Yes. That is perfect for Charlesbury. <laughs> I love it. How many children do you want? Four. Four children? Yeah. How about 10? Mm, that's it, iffy. Okay, so four? Four is good. Okay, I'll go with four. I guess I'll talk to you soon then. Are you sure? Yes, you sound like the perfect bride for me. One thing I really love is cougars. <laughs> Sounds like a loser. <laughs> she thinks you're a loser, Shabuba. That's not gonna work. Let's keep looking, pal. Now back to Buzz Does Security. How much you weigh? Two hundred and seventy pounds. If you're looking at me and guessing a buck forty, right on. I'm telling you, I was just saying one thirty nine and a quarter. <laughs> one thirty nine and a quarter. I got clothes on. This is testing our skills as bouncers. This next wave of people. Yeah. A lot of ass to look at. It's gonna be tough. Have a great night. We may need to frisk you. Oh wait. Now look at this guy. Two girls. These guys. He's a wow. pimp. He doesn't. He doesn't mess around. I can't believe Moby's in town. Have a great night. Okay. Bye. I'll see you inside. She's like, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> we go down here and tell this gentleman he can't come in the nightclub because he doesn't have the proper attire on. Awesome. Oh, so we're busting somebody. This is gonna be wicked. Just like cops. We have a dress code here. The running shoes. Yeah, it's gotta go. You're gone. You're gone. You're my brothers and everything, but you know I, I don't have extra shoes for you guys. Because we want to have a high class, so high end nightclub. We don't want to have people in running shoes. We're not on the basketball court. We're in the nightclub. Absolutely. That's why you let streams of chicks with stripper boots on in. That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> high class. You want the high class? I don't want to say anything, but uh, that felt like racial profiling. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what is a chop? You're not hurt me, aren't you? Yeah. So this is the initiation. Ready? Oh! That a good one? <laughs> Damn! Well, the good news is my testicles dropped. <laughs> That's uh, not the... Uh, no, not the... I felt that one. Now you're a full-fledged member at Mick Night Club. Thank you very much. I'm going to go home and internally bleed. That's good. <laughs> Thanks a lot for letting us work with you. We learned a lot from yeah, you. We did. It was really fun. Two new rookies in the business. You know, it felt good. So we're just going to go and enjoy ourselves, if you don't mind. I think my name is uh, Gino. A uh, Gino, I'm on the list. You gotta go. I know. I know. You gotta go. You gotta go. I, my father owns it. <laughs> this program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Buzz! Coming up next week on the Buzz. We're here in Brampton, Ontario. Now, did you know it's against the law to sell ice cream out of a truck in Brampton? Well, today, we're going to break the law. Well, I guess Darren and Mo go to jail next week on The Buzz. We want to hear what you've got to say. So give us a call on our Buzz line.
That's 416 410 4366. That's 416 410 4366. Remember, outside of Toronto, long distance charges apply. Or visit our website at www.darrenmo.com. It's time for the game everybody loves watching white people dance. Who's practicing on the off season? You know? You can't bring your A game if you don't practice. Oh, that buddy's all by himself. What happened, buddy? Awkward day. Yeah, yeah. Right there. The TV Herman. Oh, yeah! Keeping in shape. That's all he's doing. Let's go to 10 right now. Oh, right there. He's like, yeah, yeah, I like it too, but, but, but I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah, bye! <laughs> yeah, well, can't believe it. You know, he's got some... Doing his thing right here. That's nice. Oh, ooh. Oh, hey, found his sister. This guy's Captain Highlight. Found his own sister. Look at him. He's a fisherman. That's a nice one. Yeah, own in that. Work wow, um, look at him go. Jesus Christ. Christ. On his own sister. And she's going to get awkward right there. Yeah. yeah, now she's like, where are my girlfriends? Girl, can you, can you help? Whoa! Oh, she can play that game. Well, it's wet stain. Come on, Serena. Isn't that the guy from Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> she just that. turned that around backed it up. He's so comfortable with the white dudes, man. Come on, there's a black guy in the room somewhere. I, I saw one. I don't think so. Look at them go. Look at that. Oh, and that's enough to be a black dancing. Let's do some white dancing. What is that? What is that? What do you call that? What are you doing here? Do the river dance for Christ's sake. Living la vida loca. He says he's like, you know, I still can't bring you home to mom and dad, right? You're not coming to Woodbridge. You can't come. Sorry, you can't come. Good for them. It's nice. Good for them. You know, love. Once in a while, you know? It's nice. Love in the club. That's nice. Oh, they're freaking confused. Yeah. What's all that? She's like, I can't believe I'm going to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he oh, caught the feel there. That. Definitely wow, caught the feel. Yeah, getting in. Yeah. Caught the feel there. Look at this. <laughs> It's hot in there. Give the girl a break. <laughs> I don't see it on anyone else. She just came from a tennis match. Come on. <laughs>